Welcome to a new episode. In this episode, I will be talking about where to use LED and use it in the right way. And for that, I have taken you out for a project that we have here in Ørsted, which is in Copenhagen and Denmark. The first thing I want to show you is that we have delivered the lighting installation for this place here. And it's a big building and, and to be more precise, a lot of bigger buildings where you have apartments. And what we have helped the electrician company with here is that we have delivered the linear system for this building here. And it's only for the hallways. And what you see here is a linear system. And what's interesting about this, first of all, is that we do not have any dark areas. Um, we have a really linear uh, lighting system here. And the good thing is also that we are able to manage this in a way so the electrician can get the the length in the custom size so we have a length which is 4.2 meters and that's just a great way to to customize these situations here because the uh, building owner do not want to see any dark areas so they didn't want to have connected two luminaires together they just want one line and that's what we do in normal sim in this case here we have just created a system which is just a complete setup with the length that is customized for the customer here. And, uh, and as you see, the light is also pretty warm. It is 3000 Kelvin. And then we also have um, a pretty high lumen output of these luminaires here. Inside the luminaires, we are using Samsung LED boards, and then we use a Tridonic uh, driver. So it is a really stable system, uh, and it can be used for a lot of different purposes. So this is the first project that I wanted to show you. So let's move to the next project. Okay, another place to use LEDs here is at a hotel in the Spell of Sky in Copenhagen. And as you see up here, there is uh, some nice pendant. It gives some great atmosphere, as you can see, in hallways like this. And then we have the traditional downlights, which is up here. And you also see them in the background. So the downlights is just used to give the general lighting. And then you have some, some decorative lighting here. In, uh, in the middle. Right now we are in the last application I want to show you and this is a parking house as you might see or parking garage as you might uh, also call it. This is LEDs and the best thing about LEDs for parking spot is that you are able to control them really carefully and that is great when you do not have any cars in this parking area then you can turn down the light, like dim the light to like maybe 50% and then save some extra energy. Also, which is really good, is that the lifetime is so long on LEDs, so for that reason you do not have to change the LEDs, you know, the tubes in this uh, specific case, to a new uh, uh, light. And that is just saving a lot of time. Another thing, as you might see on the video here, is that it's really bright. So you normally use 4000 Kelvin, for this application here so it's really bright light as you can see and you can control it in the best way so that was the last application i wanted to show you there is a lot of other places that leds can be used and i will not show that in this video because otherwise it will be too long but uh, for that reason i also have another video to show you soon hopefully where we go into other applications where leds can be used in a perfect way so thank you for watching now and uh, see you next time bye